She's beautiful. She's smart. She always lights up the room. He loves me for me. When I'm down inside, he's, he's there for me. I can tell you're really nervous, honey. Yeah, I am. It's okay to be nervous. I got butterflies now. Yeah, speed limit's 35, buddy. Learn how to drive. There's no way. How am I going to fit these balloons in the car? Could I, could I take my hand out and just hold them? Do you want to see yeah, what I'm well, saying? Don't let them go. I won't. I'll just hold them. Okay, I got it. Got him? I got them. Don't worry. For nearly 30 years, Lori Souza worked at a sheltered workshop in North Providence, Rhode Island, called Training Through Placement, or TTP. It was a place where people with intellectual disability did basic, repetitive jobs. One day, about five years ago, a new guy showed up, Peter Maxmeen. I saw him, and I don't know, this might sound a little funny. Not to me, it doesn't. I looked at him, I said, I'm going to marry that guy. That's my soulmate. They worked next to each other as they tested and cleaned used remote controls. Sheltered workshops like theirs were once seen as a progressive alternative to institutions, a place where people could be trained for employment. But most of the workers at TTP, including Lori, rarely got jobs on the outside. They remained in the workshop, sometimes for decades, earning pay that averaged $1.57 an hour. I always used to say to the bosses, I'd be like, I want to go out, I want to go out and get a job. I want to get trained for a job. Put me out there, I can do it. In my opinion, they never listened. Lori was sitting at the front desk one day last year when federal investigators showed up. The sheltered workshop was ultimately accused of underpaying its clients and of violating their civil rights by keeping them segregated. Now the state of Rhode Island is developing a new approach to help people with disability thrive in the workplace and in society, an approach that could become the model for the rest of the country. As a result, Peter and Lori are finding their place in the outside world, together. I think I asked for the blue bow tie, right? I believe so? Correct. Okay. I was living in a group home in, in Smithfield. Wow, this is probably the best I've looked in a long time. I was taken away from my biological mom when I was like three years old. I went to a special needs school. I know you look at me now, you never think. So I was just back and forth between different agencies and into a group home to now being independent in my own apartment for the last four years. I know how to dance. What, I do the moonwalk like this? A nonprofit organization called FedCap has helped Peter find a well-paying job at a state hospital. Fourteen eighty-one an hour. The housekeeping, custodial, slash janitor. I do love my job. I love the people that I work with. Whatever you do, this, guy see, this is, is my boy right here. This guy's a great guy. You know, right they here. always bust my chops every single day, but you know, I, I give it right back. <laughs> and it does help having the job, being able to pay for all this stuff. Okay, thank you very much. Good luck. You know, God bless you both. did such a great job. And now since I have the car, it's even, oh, that's a blessing, because imagine trying to go on a bus with a gown. They think I'm a little loopy. I think he wants me to wear this one, because this one goes over your head like this. Have to be a little taller, because I'm a little short thing, and... Gotta be a little tall so I can give my kiss. But things haven't been as easy for Lori. She is still struggling to find a job. They put me in a Hampton Inn. You gotta go in there and do the bathroom, the beds. There was a time limit of how long you can be in the room. When you got a really filthy room and there's stuff all over the place, how are you supposed to do that under 30 minutes? She missed two days of work and was let go. Mike, he's getting married tomorrow. 
I'm surprised he doesn't say, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> a lot of people have already told me that. Down to one income, they must carefully budget for everything, including their wedding day. Don't, don't worry about it, Maria. Should you like those? Oh, those are nice. Oh, wait, something. That's cute, ma. It doesn't have to be big here. Those are nice. Yeah, look, this is the price. Like these. I like these. How much? I don't you like, like them better? shoes I have at home. I'm sorry. How much are they? Fourteen ninety nine. Hey, Mia, want them? Yeah, me. Do you have enough money? That's the thing. Don't worry about it, honey. I'm good. Let me see what I have in my car now. Don't worry about it, honey. No, I can do it, honey. Do it. You sure? Yes. I like it because I could, those uh, will make. Because I, I have an extra, honey. I have an extra fifty-three dollars. Okay. Those were only sixteen bucks, honey. And Ma, I'll be able to kiss, I'll be able to kiss him. Relax. It's going to be a wonderful day. I've been told that, you know, if you want a really, really good wedding, you've got to, it takes at least a year to be able to plan it and to be able to do it in three months and it's still going to come out great. How you doing, buddy? All right, how are My you? wedding day today. Oh, Thank you. Just don't let go of them. I'll try to yeah. drive as slowly as possible. I won't go the speed limit. Unbelievable. <laughs> 90 cents times 24. $24. Well, at least the cake won't blow away. This is how we're gonna walk, okay, Brendan? My moment is gonna be when I'm walking down the aisle with my son and I see him standing there for me. Walk nice and slow. Nice and slow, I got big heels. All right, you got it? This is where it all begins, right here the foundation, and this is very good foundation. Yeah, I should, because she had a nice and tight. should be a little tight, tighter. Yeah, should, right. no, we're doing good, though. Yeah, we're doing, we're, I straight. knew it wasn't going to start exactly. Nothing starts exactly on time, does it? Nah. Hold on, let the bride go in first. Come this on, is the one easy. That's it, let's come The first down. one. Yeah, me, when I'm with you, standing there when I got priest taught, I can take my shoes off. I don't need my shoes. Yeah, because they're gonna they're gonna kill you if not. Oh, I'm forgetting something. The marriage license is missing. The justice of the peace is looking to get paid, and more than 50 guests are waiting in their apartment building's community room. All we, all we need is the bouquet. Oh, look at you, Hansel. I have to see if there's anything in the gift thing first, because. I've spent everything else on the wedding. Can you see if they put anything into the, uh, the gift box yet? I had to go out from one table to the next table to the next table. But I didn't know because I thought he said I can pay for him afterwards. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time I'd like to welcome you all here to Lauren and Peter's wedding. here today not only to join two people together but to recognize that such a joining has already taken place in their hearts this is your marriage not something created by the state or church it's yours to define yours to live she looked beautiful even before she put this on the couple will take a one-day honeymoon. Then, Tuesday morning, Peter will be back at work. All I want to do is go home with you. Sorry. I'll miss you, kiss you, get my coat when you are gone. 
gonna grow old with you. Sorry about the mic, though.